Thank you. Wait a minute. I think. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing forth a message for the general collective at this time. I don't even know how to do this without my setup. This thing my setup in the car. Spirit for bringing through a message for the general collective at this time. Thank you as always for your guidance and protection. Thank you for allowing my voice to bring healing to those who hear it. comment when you come in and let me know you're here. All right, so that's the first one I'm going to do right now. Just the one. Holy Spirit, thank you for bringing the message for the General Collective. This whole chunk. Oh, I guess it's only two. Okay. Too many Christmas. I almost lost it. All right, let's see what we got. We got six. We got the nine of fire in the reverse. Explorer of air in the reverse. Lightning is in the upright. Eight of earth is in the upright. Ten of earth is in the reverse. Sorry about the lightning, you guys. I didn't get to go where I thought I was going to go. Child of earth is in the reverse. So I came to... My friends has to do the reading from here. Let's see what the book has to say about these. Oh, wow. Turned right to it. Nine of fire, though, on the shadow side. This is the next page. And it says, You may feel disconnected to the great power source of all that is. It is time to start or begin again some kind of spiritual practice. There are many to choose from. Try several out and then stick with the one that works best for you. The affirmation, I am a being of light and fire as well as flesh and bone. And then we got the Explorer of Air. In the reverse. <laughs> Forgot to put it on do not disturb. Okay, now where am I? <laughs> the explorers. Alright, so the shadow side of this card says let's see. Although intelligence and wit are important, sometimes these skills are used in an arrogant, hurtful way. In a rush to be right, long-range consequences can be perilously ignored. 
be sure that you don't care more about your ideals or arguments than you do for the experiences and feelings of others. Affirmation. I climb high in order to get perspective and take the long view. And then we have the lightning in the upright, you guys. This is the tower. Sudden irrevocable change. In the reverse, it says the upheaval is probably a smaller one. And not so radical or life-changing. Fears and avoidance may be postponing a need to change or upheaval. The situation may be lasting longer than had been expected. Beware of allowing these changes to create bitterness and despair. Attempting to control outcomes may not be productive. Instead, use this as an opportunity to deepen your courage, accepting that there is usually an important gift hidden in the rubble of what has fallen. You may be ready to begin the healing process. The themes for the soul lessons on this card. Shocking events, sudden upheaval, dramatic... <clears throat> there we go with the tickle in the throat. Dramatic change, revelation, epiphany, crisis, disruption, burst of insight, chaos. And this one comes with journal questions for you to write down and ponder. What sudden revelation have I recently had? How is my life radically changing? What attitudes need to be banished in order for me to move on? What insights reveal new possibilities to me? What limiting circumstances am I released from? What is true security and false security in my life? When I've lost everything, what remains? The affirmation, I am transformed and liberated by my acceptance of profound change. And next is the Eight of Earth in the upright. And this one says, a long apprenticeship is sometimes required when we work to manifest our vision in the world. Sorry about the weird reflection, you guys. We must learn our craft and practice it diligently, reaching a high level of skill before we can walk the path of right livelihood. What is the work of your heart? Have you found a mentor who will teach you wisely? Will you pass on your knowledge to another? The affirmation, I cultivate patience as I learn so that I may share my gifts with others. That one is followed by the Ten of Earth in the reverse. So on the shadow side of this card. Have you allowed overwork and overwhelm to trap you? Perhaps you fear there is never enough for all, or you could lose all you have gained. In what ways might you be struggling with outmoded family expectations or social class prejudices? Our mother, our mother, our mother earth herself, herself is the example of plentifulness, diversity, and sustainability. Be willing to let go of your demands and allow her to bless you with the abundance that you most need. The affirmation, I know that my life's work will benefit the coming generations. And then last we got the child of earth. In the reverse, which says, Someone may be too attached to possessions and might be valuing others by how much they earn. He may have an unhealthy lifestyle and is resistant to change. He may prefer to stay indoors and let the natural world pass him by. It's time to start fresh and begin a new relationship with the material world. The affirmation, I find my center when I connect to my body and the natural world. And that is that for the collective. And that would seem to be that for this reading. I have no comments and no viewers.
Okay, so something was wrong with my commenting on the broadcast, obviously, because I saw comments after I got off line. I don't know. We'll see if Deke comes back on. Or anyone else. Okay, there's somebody. Iris. I don't know if my last broadcast was working right, you guys. Because once I signed off, I got notification that there were comments on it. How are you doing, Iris? I think my previous broadcast was not working. Did you try to comment on the previous video too, Iris? Oh, good. Is it Friday where you are? It's Friday night here. Have you ever had a reading before? Um, if so, do you know what deck we have? The... Saturday where you are. How nice. I have the guy in tarot. I have the goddesses. I have the celebration of love oracle deck. 3.52, it is probably 7.52, oh, 7.53, just clicked over. I have the Science of Mind deck, which is based on a book by Ernest Holmes. And then I have this deck based on another book, the Bible. Tanika Rose, how are you doing? Thank you for being here. If you would like a personal reading, let me know what deck. I already did the collective on the previous broadcast, um, and I don't think the comments were working. So right now I have Iris and then Tanika. Just let me know what deck, or if you want me to pick your deck, that's fine too. Tarot. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing out a message for Iris at this time. I'm doing good. It's Friday night, and I'm hanging out with you all. Thank you for bringing a message for Iris, for the highest good of everyone in that timeline. For the most love and healing to show up. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your protection and your guidance. And thank you for letting my voice bring healing to everyone who hears it. Well, since we're doing the, um, whoop, okay. Since we're doing the tarot for Iris, Maybe we'll switch over and do Oracle for you, Tanika. How does that sound? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing out whatever Iris needs at this time for the highest possible good, for the most possible love, and all of the healing required to show up. Thank you, highest holy angels, ancestors, and spirit guides for bringing this message for Iris at this time. He, that was a flurry right there. And one of your cards came out in the general collective, which was, who am I? Okay, so Iris, your first card out is Major Arcana number six, The Lovers, in the upright. Then you got the Four of Earth in the shadow side. You got the Explorer of Water in the upright. And then you got the lightning card in the reverse, just like we got in the general collective, which was the previous video. And then you got major arcana number 17, the star in the shadow side. So we will see what the book has to say about that. 
Iris was first up, and her timestamp is going to be pretty early, yeah? I'll call her 5.55 so I can see you for editing purposes. All right. The Lovers in the Upright says, follow your passion. It's time for you to look deeply into your own heart and ask yourself if you are living a life full of passion and love. What gives you deep joy and fulfillment in your life? Whatever it is, are you pursuing it? When you are living an authentic life, pursuing your deepest passions, it is easy to love yourself and then to love others. The beloved appears in many guises, a romantic or erotic lover, a friend, a life partner, family members, animal companions, the natural world, an art or craft or profession, god or goddess. All these can be the beloved. All these are deserving of our wholehearted love. Giving and receiving love is our natural state of being. Remember also that your sexuality is sacred in whatever way you choose to express it. All acts of love and pleasure are my rituals, the lady says to you. Above all, be true to yourself and behave ethically with your lovers. Often this card appears when there is a choice to be made. The lovers call upon you to always follow your heart's desire. Wow. Wow. And the soul lesson themes are passion, heart's desire, follow your bliss, choice, love, sexuality, union of opposites, balance, reciprocity, cooperation, partnership, sacred marriage, self-love, relationships of all kinds, interdependence, honor the beloved. And some journal questions for you. Write down and ponder, Iris. If you don't have time to write them down, it might be easier for you to do it when I get them up on YouTube because I will timestamp that for you. Journal questions say, what are the most significant relationships in my life? Who is the beloved to me? What is my relationship with spirit or God, goddess? What choice do I need to make? How can I make an authentic choice? What is my heart's passion? How do I express my sexuality? What or who do I love the most? What or who would I give my heart to if I had no fear? The affirmation, I give and receive love with my whole heart. And then your next card, Iris, was the four of earth in the shadow side, but I'll hold it in the upright so you can look at the picture. You might ask yourself if you are taking or using more than your fair share. Our friend Squirrel can become so acquisitive that he saves more food than he, is, than he really needs. He often forgets all the places where he hoarded his food for the winter. What is the best use of your resources? Your challenge is to make use of them in a way that is sustainable. The Affirmation I'm a wise steward of my resources, and I give thanks for the blessings in my life. Next, you have the Explorer of Water in the upright, which says, This is a joy that comes from within and is not dependent on outer circumstances. The Explorer of Water is romantic and charming, and others are drawn to the deep well of peace inside him. He loves yoga, meditation, and any of the mystical arts. He expresses his deep feelings and spirituality through art, music, or dance. He flows with great compassion for others and imagines things as they could be. Quote, you may say, I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. End quote. The affirmation, I am riding the deep waves of joy and peace in my life. And then the lightning card, number 16. On the shadow side, the upheaval is probably a smaller one than if the card was in the, I mean, in the reverse. Sorry, I'm going to put it in the upright so you can look at it. That's what. <laughs> 
The upheaval is probably a small, smaller one and not as radical or life-changing. Fears and avoidance may be postponing a needed change or upheaval. The situation may be lasting longer than had been expected. Beware of allowing these changes to create bitterness and despair. Attempting to control outcomes may not be productive. Instead, use this as an opportunity to deepen your courage, accepting that there is usually an important gift hidden in the rubble of what has fallen. You may be ready to begin the healing process. The Soul Lesson Themes Shocking Events Sudden Upheaval Dramatic Change Revelation Epiphany Burst of Insight Crisis Disruption Chaos The Journal Questions to Write Down and Ponder what sudden revelation have I recently had? How is my life radically changing? What attitudes need to be banished in order for me to move on? What insights reveal new possibilities to me? What limiting circumstances am I released from? What is true security and false security in my life? When I've lost everything, what remains? The affirmation, I am transformed and liberated. By my acceptance of profound change. And this is number 16. And right after that you got number 17. Also in the shadow side. And I'll hold it in the upright. So you can look at the image. I see Pleiades on there. So it says you may be feeling hopeless. And unable to connect with spirit. Healing may be taking a longer time. Than you had expected. Doubt or insecurity may be blocking the promise of the star. What is causing the blockage and what can you do to remove it? You may be experiencing a dark night of the soul, as if you are descending to the underworld, like Persephone or Inanna. Remember that when each returned at last to the world of the living, they became the queens of both realms. The soul lesson themes, hope, mystical experience, wonder, peace, serenity, Spiritual blessing, refreshment, inspiration, gratitude, grace, and generosity. The journal questions to write down and ponder. This is your last card, Iris. What gives me hope? What kind of spiritual practice do I have? How do I connect with the great mystery or God, goddess? I suggest after this you go and watch the video that I just posted prior to this on the page. Because it's the general collective and I think it's going to speak to you as well. What inspires me? When have I experienced complete well-being, peace, and joy? How can I experience it again? How can I bring peace into my world? What is the North Star or guiding light of my life? Where is my heart's home? The affirmation I open up to the peace and inspiration of the great mystery. Wow. Thank you for being here, Iris. That was a really good reading. All right. Let me scatter these back through the deck, Tanika, and then we're going to turn to the Oracle for you. Let's see what Holy Spirit has to say or wants to bring for your bestest, goodest outcome. For the most love to show up for you. Oh, good. Thank you for being here, Iris. I really appreciate you uh, giving me a chance to give you a reading. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for Iris's message. May it bring the healing and guidance that she needs. And now we're going to switch over to Tanika. And I'm going to get the time stamp, 1530. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing through a message for Tanika at this time. For the highest good of everyone in that timeline, you know all of the names. Thank you, thank you for your guidance and your support and your protection through all of the days. Thank you for showing up with the love. Always. Mercy. I almost lost control. Let's see. There's something came up. Wow. What's going on? 
This one. This one was first and then that one. These ones don't have reversals. It's just, they were flying, though. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing a message for America as high as good. For the highest possible timeline for everyone involved. For the most love and healing to show up. Okay. So someone needs to have a talk with you. Is that all? <laughs> yes, because there's electricity here and I can turn the light on. Whereas with my truck, I can only use the light for so long before my battery's going to leave me sitting stuck there. Anything else for Tanika at this time? That was a lot all at once. I am not surprised you're being quiet now. Wow. That was crazy how those came flying out like that. And then I, I tried to put some of them back. And they said no. They want all of those. Let's see what you got here. I mean, we're talking. They have a message. Let's see how many you got. Oh, I, I like to count them. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know if twelve means anything for you. And then, oh, I will write you down, Jamila. You'll be after this reading right here, actually. And yeah, I don't think anyone else commented before you. Shh. Okay, good. Sorry, you guys. So a dozen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, ancestors. Let me get the book. Your first card is love. The fifth element, love. Let me get the book open here. I'm used to having everything in my lap, and this table is weirding me out, dude. It's weirding me out. Love. Okay. This image celebrates that of all there is. Earth, wind, fire, and water. Love is all there is. We are called to recognize the love that is in all of creation. Decide today that you will look to find love in all that you encounter, no matter how impossible that seems. Look for the blessing in all situations. And the special message says, you are being inspired to bring love into places situations and relationships that seem to have no love drop your ego st step aside and allow the love to flow through you like a river of divine light you are a vessel of the divine and next is belief Let's see here i'm sorry about that weird reflection like i'm not used to having a light bulb there we go. This image celebrates the optimistic spirit that seeks to find that ray of hope in this moment of now, no matter how grave a situation may seem. It calls us to grip and hold on to complete faith, knowing that the answer is there and it will be revealed to us in perfect divine timing. Spend a moment today and quiet your mind. Go to your inner temple and ask the creator to reveal to you something that is very special to you. Wait patiently to know what it is. Even if this first insight isn't up to your expectations, hold it in your heart, honor it, and be in total gratitude. The full impact... Oh, my throat's tickling so bad right now. <coughs> <coughs> oh, so when my throat tickles like this, Tanika, it means something is important here, right here. <coughs> um, okay. Honor it and be in total gratitude. The full impact of its worth will reveal itself to you over the next few days. The special message, you are inspired to take a challenge you now face and write down or journal the positive outcome of what you would like to see happen. Feel how good that will feel and keep that feeling in your heart for as long as possible. Give thanks for that positive resolution as if it has taken place already. Yes, believe it and you will see it. That's what, that's how it works. 
And your next one is Prosperity. Atlantean Priestess is the name of the illustration. Hi, Marcel. Yes, you can be after Jamila. Who is next? Okay, this image celebrates the gems of our inner temple. It calls us to cherish, cultivate, and expand our talents and to nurture with love and gratitude our sacred connection with the divine. Establish your inner temple, your meeting place with the highest. See it in your mind's eye. Go inside your heart, the place of pure love and creation, and create an incredible sanctuary to go to at any time you desire. Promise yourself to visit it daily when you first wake up and the last thing you do before you fall asleep. Plant the seeds for health, wealth, abundance, and prosperity, joy, happiness, and love. Special message. Oh, and here comes the throat. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Good enough. It's already called a special message for a reason, you know. <clears throat> okay, so you are being inspired to become more inner directed than being guided by outer influences. Stand strong in who you are. You are part of the divine. Mm. Oh, with your heart. Feel into it with your heart and your gut rather than listening to anything anyone else ever says. And goodness is next. It says, Before Egypt, Primordial Rhapsody is the name of the illustration. Is any of this resonating for you, Tanika? This image celebrates the power of light to dispel the darkness. It calls us to be loving conduits for this divine energy to work through us. Make a commitment to act with more integrity today. See yourself as a light bearer of love, and everywhere you go, you dispel the darkness. Walk in the confidence of the divine you are. Special message. You are being inspired to look at a situation or relationship that is not operating from the place of the highest integrity. Addressing this will start the healing process and turn it around for the better. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Next is empowerment. Power or peaceful dreamer is the name of the... Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Wow. Whew. So, you know he's with you, right? Every Anytime we've lost someone who is important to us, they are with us at the thought at the thought of them they are right there so this one says this image celebrates pushing through the limitations on boundaries we set for ourselves it calls us to excel to new heights and go forward using new creative means we never thought possible for ourselves look at something about yourself that you feel is insignificant and meditate on the possibility of making this one of your strengths don't be afraid to stretch beyond your comfort zone at times throughout the day, stop and visualize yourself expressing this area of your life from a place of divinely guided strength. The special message. You are being challenged by a feeling of unworthiness about something. You are being inspired to let go of that illusion and to celebrate your divinity and how the creator wants only the best for you. And your next card is Archangel Gabriel. Messenger of God, awaken. Let's see if I can get that to where you can see it. This image celebrates the calling we receive at one time or another in our life. It calls us to trust the divine plan by willingly and with faith, walking this new path of challenge, knowing our triumph is assured. Like the phoenix rising from the ashes, take a stand and make a commitment to dispel the negativity from an area of your body that holds darkness. Recall a bad circumstance that you've had and get in touch with your body. 
Where does the feeling settle when you think about the incident? Send that area light and joyfully detach from it and turn it over to the divine to heal. Oh my word. Special message. Choose the high road for a challenge you are currently facing or will face. Know that there is plenty of help for you. The Creator and the legions of angels and higher beings await your request for assistance. And okay, so I have to stop with an interjection before I go to the next card. So, um, have you been able to establish communication? Like, have you asked your brother for signs? Um, pennies, butterflies, feathers. What? Maybe there was some special thing between the two of you that you keep noticing shows up. You should try it. You can, like, you don't even have to say it out loud. Like, literally, you can be thinking the thought. But if you want to say it out loud, you know, when you have some private time or whatever, you can have a conversation and ask for signs. Um, like pennies, dimes, whatever. You know, ask for a certain thing and just wait for it to show up. Oh, really? Love. So this one. That's amazing. So, my chest is really heavy, and I feel like I want to cry. So I keep seeing pictures in my mind. Um, I'm seeing pictures of my family. So he's bringing up, I guess, your the family, your family. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I keep seeing, um, I keep seeing a baby. Uh, I keep seeing a, well, it's a child in my family, a little girl. She's eight months old. So I don't know what, if that means anything. So, I'm feeling a really strong, um, I feel really sad and I feel um, regretful and I'm seeing I'm seeing, okay, um, I'm seeing a piece of paper with handwriting on it.
So I don't know if that means he left you a message or he should have left you a message. Well, let's read the rest of the cards and see if anything pops up. Uh, I have a headache that came about. So the next card was trust. Mm. Okay. This one is called Pond Sparkle. It says, this image celebrates the trust to tread into the magical waters of our imagination. It's navigating joyfully, feeling our balance, and knowing that the best and highest outcome is on its way to us. Call to mind something you thought was impossible. Now go into your sacred space and ask to become the creative self that you really are. Allow solutions to come to you from this magical energy. Trust that the solutions will come and be in gratitude every step of the way. The special message, you are being inspired to release your fear of trust. You are one with God. All outcomes, whether you judge them as good or bad, are all in perfect divine timing, serving the best and highest for the good of all concerned. Fear has no place in this holy equation. Oh, wow. You got the other Archangel in the whole entire deck. Raphael, Archangel of Healing. So. This image celebrates our body's ability to follow its divine blueprint to heal and make itself whole. It calls us to step aside and allow the divine to flood us with healing waters on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. So each cell in our body is as new and pure as the Creator intended. Focus on a different organ in your body for a week. Seek information about each organ to understand and marvel at how magnificent your body is. Flood each organ with gratitude, love, and appreciation for all that it does. Stay in that frame of mind for as long as you can. The special message. Your body wants you to pay more attention to it. You are being inspired to tune into its signals and address where you are being guided to give a little bit more care to that area. It is your earthly vehicle. Take care of it. Perseverance is your next card. And the name of the illustration is called Cloud Dolphins. This image celebrates the undeniable spirit of the human being creating possibilities from impossibilities. This is the second time it's told you to do that. Something that you think is impossible is actually possible. It calls us to stand in the power of if you can think it, you can create it. We are co-creators with the divine. Promise yourself today that you will bring out into the open a dream, goal, or idea 
that you have kept on the back burner because of fear or lack of confidence. Dust it off. Hand it over to the Divine Creator. Ask Source that you form a divine partnership with him or her in order to bring this dream, goal, or idea into being. <clears throat> Through the light of creation, one step at a time. The special message. You are being inspired to break through your fear of success. See your success as a beautiful sphere with a hard shell around it. Turn it over to the Creator. Make the conscious choice that the impermeable shell be melted off and your dream is free to now flourish in the energy of divine love. Have you ever noticed like certain things in the clouds like maybe a T for your name or his first initial, you've seen it like as a cloud somehow or like I've had that happen to me before with loved ones and I got a thumbs up cloud once. So maybe you should keep an eye on the clouds too. Next is sharing. And the image is called Light Priestess. This image celebrates the magic of myth and legend. We are called to dream how ancient thought forms rode the threads of time and are now woven into the beautiful tapestry of our human ancestry. Extend the magic of joy to a stranger. Go out of your way today to do something nice for someone, no matter how small it is, without expecting anything in return. Send them a blast of love from your heart and send it out through your smile and eyes. Special message. You are being inspired to break out of the cocoon of control that certain others have had over you. Send them love, joy, and blessings. Have an inner dialogue with them affirming that you choose to be free from their control no matter how well intended it was meant to be. Offer gratitude for this lesson and be aware that you would never exercise this type of control over someone else either. Oh, wow. See, spirit is good. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, all the ancestors and angels. Uh, we, I always know they usually bring what we need. Your next one is called Inspiration. And the illustration is called Night School. Okay, this one says, this image celebrates learning, growing, and opening to finding our highest potential. It is honoring our gifts no matter how small or large we perceive them to be. Today, decide to learn about something that you've always wanted to know about but never wanted to invest the time to do it. Share the information you learn with a friend. Do this in the spirit of gratitude for our incredible brains, talents, and ability to learn. Special message. There is an issue, situation, or person you may be closed-minded about. You are being inspired to talk with them on the inner planes. Have a conversation with them and tell them how you feel and why you are closed-minded. Allow and listen within while you hear them speak. Ask for the highest outcome and for the good of all concerned. The last one is balance. And the illustration set is called integration of male female aspects. But it's another angel and dolphins. Wait. And orcas and dolphins. Maybe. This says this image celebrates, let me see if I can get it right. Sorry, my phone kind of is tilty now. This image celebrates the balancing of the male-female energies of the integrated human. It calls us to rise above the polarity of male-female preconceptions and to live our lives from a higher state of being, encompassing the true energy of godly male-femaleness. 
Take an issue in your life and try to understand how a female would deal with it, then how a male would deal with it. Now, take the higher aspects of those insights and blend them to make a higher balanced, godlike resolution. The special message. You are being inspired to balance and integrate the male-female energies around a significant relationship in your life. Let go of gender roles. Approach all issues from a balanced, whole space. And that is your reading, Tanika. Thank you so much for letting me be here for you. I'm pretty sure your brother was here. Yes, your brother was here. And he is with you anytime you ask for him. Like, if you can meditate, um, if you can, if you know how to meditate, if you don't know how to learn how to meditate, that is one of the best ways I have found for my crossover loved ones to drop by and visit me. And your dreams. Your dreams are another place, like, have you had any dreams about him? Like, you are very... <gasps> I got goosebumps. You know, one of my very, very, very dearest friends is tra transgender. And I've lost contact with her. Because um, she wasn't healed and she wasn't in a good place. And she's now allowed a relationship to be the only relationship in our life. So I'm hoping that she's getting the help that she needs. But that's a special um, subject matter for me. Wow. That just is amazing. Spirit is so amazing. Oh, I just, there they are. I'm going to see if my phone will just stay there without the thing holding it. 4330 for Jamila. I'm, I'm so glad I got to do that reading after the day I had. That is the confirmation that I needed. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm sending you so much love and healing. That is one of the toughest things in this lifetime, I feel like, to have to be born into the wrong body. And I, I can feel so much for everyone who deals with that. It's been one of those situations where it has come up in my life frequently. And there's so much emotional turmoil and uh, so much uh, oh, dangerous times for a soul in that situation. You are very welcome. Anytime you want to come back. I'll try to do a better job of channeling your brother next time. I'm kind of new at this. It took me a long time to accept myself for who I am. And do the things I needed to do. Good golly, I can hardly see. <laughs> Jamila, thank you for being patient. Do you get dreams, Jamila? That was one of the things that first started showing up for me. Like, do you keep a dream journal? That can be a very important tool. A dream journal. Jamila, do you know what card deck you would like me to do your reading from? Here at work and you're able to be on Facebook. That's fantastic. Hey, I'm at work too. <laughs>
mm, accidentally let my um, soda show in my first video and I was like, oh no, people are going to think I'm promoting it, but I'm not. It's a guilty pleasure. Pick attack. Whew. Well, we just got done with the oracles. We had the tarot. You want to try the goddesses? I have this beautiful, amazing goddess deck. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing through a message for Jamila at this time for the highest possible outcome for all the souls in that timeline. You know the names. Whew, thank you for bringing a message forth that can bring about the most healing and the most love for everyone involved. Thank you, as always, for your guidance and your protection. Thank you for bringing me the love I needed today. Thank you. Thank you. Who? Thank you for allowing my voice to bring healing to those who hear it. Even when I sing so terribly. Hmm. Wowzers, that was, I think Tanika wins the prize for the most amazing reading I have ever felt or seen. Did I pick the wrong deck, Holy Spirit? Maybe I'm off my game. Maybe not. Sometimes. I wonder about myself. <laughs> okay. So, this and then that. I always try to keep them in order in case there's a timeline involved. And this, and then you, and then you. Anyone else want to pop out? I know. I just hadn't gotten the cards about that wanted to be flung about. I had to get them to where they, where they could get to them. Clearly, you're getting just as uh, thorough of a reading as Tanika got. I mean, I can't guarantee your brother is going to come in or whatever, but there's some messages. Spirit was ready and waiting. Thank you, ancestors, Holy Spirit, highest holy angels. Spirit guides. Okay, that's it then. Let's see how many you got. Mercy. Oh, wow. Let me make sure that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Spirit is not tired of you. They're just messing around. Nine is my life path. So that you got nine cards is just a little haha, -ha, like confirmation for me too. So I don't know if nine means anything to you. These don't have a book. They just have the meanings on the back. And what it does is it tells you about this goddess and something about her, what she's known for or whatever is going to speak to something in your past, present or future circumstance. This one is Sedna. First one out. You're going to have to, let me see here. What I'm going to do is, I got, these ones are harder to read. <laughs> oh, do you guys know each other? Wow. Can you even see it? The lighting is getting, it's full dark here, you guys. So I'm just using the porch light <laughs> for this. And I have to be able to read too. Okay, it says, Sedna, the one down there was once a beautiful Eskimo woman who lived with her father. None of the local suitors appealed to her and she refused to marry until a fulmar, a type of bird, from across the sea promised to take her to his home of luxury. 
when she found she had been deceived and was ill-treated, she begged her father to take her home. As the two were crossing the water, a flock of fulmars caused a huge storm to arise. To save his own life, Sedna's father threw her into the ocean. As she clung to the boat, he chopped off her fingers, which turned into whales, seals, and all the mammals of the sea. Sedna descended to Adlivum, the Eskimo underworld where she now rules the dead, to ensure that she will continue to send food to hunters. Oh, no, you didn't. Guess what? You just got banned, whatever your name is. You are horrible doing that. Shame on you. Shame on you. Oh. I don't really like it when people come soliciting on my page. That'll get you banned faster than I can't say what and I can't say where. Okay, so where was I when I noticed that? To ensure that she will continue to send food to hunters, shamans descend to visit her, comb her hair, and massage her mutilated hands. Sedna is a reminder of the nourishing gifts that are to be found deep in the dark, cold places that we most fear. Yeah. I mean, all they've done is lost their access to my wonderful wealth of knowledge and wisdom. I'm just being funny. I'm really not. It's not me at all. It just comes through me. It's my job. Next, you got... Now, this one's a sideways one, so I'll have to turn. It's the Lady of the Lake. And it says, I wish I could hold it up for you to look at it while I was reading, but the light is horrible. As in many traditions in which a goddess bestows kingship, the Lady of the Lake, a mysterious Celtic goddess, gave King Arthur the sword Excalibur and thus established his power and his right to be king. Before he died, Arthur restored the sword to her and it now remains with her beneath the waters of the deep. Water, the source of all life, has long been the domain of the goddess. Lakes represent both the source of creative power and the land of the dead, life-giving and death or renewal being the two main functions of the goddess. Water indicates both consciousness and revelation. The Lady of the Lake is a guide to the mysterious realms of emotion and renewal, a source of immense creativity. She can give us the energy we need to rule our lives. Whoa. And next you got Artemis. Let's see here. This one says, Artemis, the archaic mistress of animals, probably dates back to Paleolithic times. Her realm is the wilderness, and her concern extends to all wild, untamed things. She presides over the hunt and is the goddess of hunters. Fiercely individualistic and independent, she remains apart from relationship to men. Despite her fierceness, she is addressed as a healing and soothing goddess. Protector of births, she allevi alleviates the suffering of women in childbirth. She is also responsible for the initiation of young girls. Artemis is a wonderful symbol of female independence. She reminds us of the value of solitude and the importance of wild, unprotected places. She shows us those frightening places that bring healing even through fear. It does? Are you? That, well, you know, <laughs> usually they speak to something. But if it's not resonating on the third card, that's odd. So maybe 
What about Spider Woman? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's symbol it's symbolic. It's symbolism this one. Would you rather I can pull from you throw the tarot if you'd rather if this isn't like if it's not resonating, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be able to help you anyways. So we can choose. We can choose either the tarot or the um oracles. Ah, oh, yeah, see everything is so, um, it's like kind of, you gotta, it's kind of like the Bible, like allegory, like you gotta figure it out kind of for yourself on these ones. Whereas the other ones are like, you need to look at a certain part of your body <laughs> or you need to eat better food or, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> Let's see who else you got. You got Artemis, the archaic mistress of animals. You got spider woman who is the goddess among Southwestern Native American tribes. Yeah. Um, she's a reminder that good comes from everywhere. Even the lowly spider, sometimes dismissed as irrelevant, has the power to create and teach. And you got Venus, the Roman goddess of grace and love. She is a guide through both the stormy and calm waters of our physical desires and emotions. Bast. That's the cat. The cat one. That's a, These are gorgeous pictures. I wish the camera did a better job of representing them. This one talks about she is the quintessential life-affirming mother, reminds us to be playful and relaxed like a cat, and to find occasions to celebrate life. And you got the Valkyrie, which is the, um, the one who escorts us to the underworld in myth. She reminds us that seeds germinate in the darkness, that sometimes we need darkness in order to grow. You got Fortuna. She is the same as an earlier Italian goddess who presided over the earth's abundance and controlled the destiny of all humans. Her name is she who turns the year about. She symbolizes the capriciousness of life and luck, the vagaries of fate, she gives us a way to approach the ups and downs of life, a perspective that can offer us some equanimity as we proceed on our journey. And your last one was Athena. The virgin goddess of war and wisdom, a symbol of courage and friendship. She often counsels warriors to gentleness she is especially honored as a goddess of agriculture, the creator of the olive tree, the flute, the ship, goldsmithing, and shoemaking, and the goddess who introdu introduced the yoke for the oxen and bridle for the horse, a patron of all useful and elegant arts, said to have breathed soul into the men created by Prometheus and to have helped Prometheus steal fire from the heavens to give to men. She is a wonderful affirmation that there are no limits to what a woman can do with her intellect and creative ability. Hmm. Yes, and even when well, it, one of the clear messages throughout the thing was you have to go through the darkness in order to understand and appreciate the light and sometimes the hard circumstances, the rough times are the times where we learn the most about ourselves and come to a better understanding of maybe our path. 
of what we're meant to be doing. We are all enough. You are divine. You are of the divine. Let's see here. Who is still here? says I only have one viewer. Thank you for being here. Uh, Jamila and Tanika, who is still here. Is Marshall still here? Because it doesn't say. Or we can pull something from the tarot. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Holy Spirit, can you please bring something forth for Jamila that will be more um, clear cut <laughs> and uh, maybe something more direct for her specific situation? Yeah, you could do that. Like, um, I have the services tab. I just did that like last week. I created that because um, I did have a fiber set up and it's kind of ridiculous over there. Yeah, there is two. Oh, good. So I'm going to pull these cards for Jamila and see if Holy Spirit can bring forth anything better, more specific than the myths and legends of the goddesses deck. Do you want that one? Do your thing. went a moth all right so this one and then this one came out that's how you want it you got five of these you got the sun on the shadow side you've got the moon in the upright you've got the wheel in the upright you've got the five of air in the upright and you've got the two fire also in the upright. So, let's see what the book has to say about that. The sun card on the shadow side, number 19. I'll hold it in the upright, though, so you can look at the picture. You may find that your overall happiness and satisfaction is lessened a bit, and you may need to take some action towards creating more joy in your life. On the other hand, life may be too intense, and you may be experiencing burnout. There may be a hidden agenda, or something that had seemed simple and straightforward is more problematic than first thought. Again, take time to make some changes. What steps can you take each day to maintain a high level of satisfaction and joy? The soul lesson themes, happiness, joy, consciousness, out in the open, nothing is hidden, being the center of attention, vitality, good health, celebration, radiance, enthusiasm, illumination. The journal questions to write down and ponder. <laughs> Where do I find happiness? How do I create happiness in my life? When do I experience flow? What am I celebrating? How have I achieved success? What brings me joy? How do I share my happiness with others? What is now completely clear? The affirmation, I choose to make a life that creates happiness for myself and for others. And then you got the card right before that. But it's in the upright, the moon, constant faithful changes. And it says, it's time to raise your lunar consciousness. Begin to track the movement of the moon in the night sky where you live. Where does she rise and where does she set and at what time of day and night? What phase is she in tonight? As you look at the moon card, which lunar phase draws your eye? 
which phase relates to a current situation. Perhaps this is a new relationship or time to leave a job. The lunar cycle is a model for any life cycle, whether it is a relationship, a job, or a creative project. Knowing your place in this cycle can help you put your current issues in perspective. In addition, oh, that glare. Here we go. Sorry about that. This card indicates an awakening of possible psychic abilities and learning to trust one's intuition. This may be frightening or confusing for those who have depended only on guidance of the clear light of rationality. The more familiar we become with the language of dreams, symbol, and myth, the more comfortable we can be with the gifts that the moon has to offer. Keep a dream journal. Keep a dream journal. <laughs> I already said that. That's so funny. So, um, study the arts of divination and magic and learn to trust your intuition. Oh, good. Yes. You know, it's important to like, like I take myself out for little outings. It's a date with me. I'm having a date with me. Constant faithful changes. The themes associated with this soul lesson card cycle of descent and return intuition dreams. Psychic Awakening, Imagination, Light and Shadow. And then the journal questions to write down and ponder. How can I become more moon wise? Do I know where the moon rises and sets on the horizon near my home and at what time? Which phase of the moon do I most identify with right now? Do I consider myself to be psychic or intuitive? Am I scared by the idea of receiving information from a sixth sense? Do I pay attention to my dreams? This is just amazing to me. I mean, really? Yeah. Right? These cards, we should have just done the tarot for you. Because now you got the wheel. Number 10. In the upright. Which says, Cycles and Seasons, the Wheel of Fortune. Hi, Michaela. How are you doing? Thank you for showing up. Don't be afraid. I always hear that. They always tell me that. Do not let fear in. Do the thing. Do what you're guided. Okay, so, you know that change is imminent. One part of a cycle is becoming another. What is passing? Let me see here. What is a passing away in your life right now and what is coming into being? Where do you stand right now on the wheel? Can you see that what is happening does not happen in isolation, but is part of a pattern? Sometimes the change that is coming is obvious and striking. More obvious, it cre or more, <laughs> more often it creeps up on us. The trees are suddenly bare and we didn't even notice when the leaves began to fall. So this card also challenges us to be mindful. Keep track of the cycles of the sun and moon, which mirror our own inner cycles. If things seem chaotic and disorderly in your life, center yourself on the still point of the turning wheel. Constant change is the nature of all that is. When you are centered, you will find that you can trust the turning cycles of change. The themes on this Soul Lesson card, cycles, everything changes, orderly change, seasons, lunar cycles, which you just had the moon, wheel of the year, impermanence, living in the now, movement and turning point, and your journal questions to write down and ponder. What is changing in my life? How am I responding to that change? Am I resisting change and clinging to what is familiar? In my current project, relationship, or other life cycle, what phase am I in? How do I stay centered in the midst of change? Do I have a spiritual practice that helps me navigate the turning of the wheel? What are my beliefs around destiny and fate? What can I control in my present situation? And what is beyond my control? 
the affirmation says, in centering myself, I am blessed by the turning of the wheel. And then you got the five of air. Which this one. So. This one says you are invo involved in a turf battle or argument that has become quite nasty. Bitter words, gossip and slander may be thrown about. Unwelcome criticism may be given or received. Your opponent may be family members, friends, co-workers, or the system. Is there a way to defend your territory without attacking others? Conflicts often generate growth as painful as they might be. What can you learn from the present conflict about the power of words? The affirmation, I defend my own place in the world without resorting to bitterness or hurtful words. Is this deck resonating better for you, Jamila? And next you got the two of fire. Oh, the comments are crazy. Come on, there we go. Okay, this is the last one for Jamila. Is Marshall here or did she leave? Oh, good. So this one says... You are suddenly and passionately attracted to a person, idea, place, cause, or project. You are lit up with a blazing energy that makes your whole life sweeter. But you don't have to act on every instance of attraction. Will the fire warm you or burn you? It's time to choose. Will you follow through on this attraction or not? And the affirmation, I am empowered by my passion for life, love, and and wildness. Thank you, Jamila, for letting me read for you. I'm glad that resonated better, yeah. I don't know. I think Marcel left. Michaela, did you want a reading this evening? Did you want to try a different deck? I can't even remember what we did last time. 114 even Let's see That's funny, Michaela. Is everything still, is things in chaos? What's going on over there? I can't remember what deck we pulled for you. Tell me what deck it was and I'll pick a different one. Let's see what happens. I'm willing to risk it. No, never, never. It's a part of the whole thing, you know. Like, when, um... A lot of times, like when the, the, the energy is really big, you can ask anybody. I glow profusely. I get I get hot. Wasn't just it's not just you. So we can have one or the other. One or the other. Hmm. My left hand tangled, so I'm gonna pick that one. I was going to switch over since we just read from the tarot, but maybe the tarot is the one that can do the theme for you tonight. I don't know. <laughs> Never feel bad. No, no. I always, I say it in like trying to be funny or whatever, like, well, the energy is huge. Like, but you know, I do remember something. Um, there was some heaviness um, in that reading that morning, wasn't there? Thank you. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what can we bring through for Michaela today without the heat? I'm sitting out in the breeze right now, and it's full dark. I'm not in the sun at all, so that might help. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you 
for bringing forth a message for Michaela at this time. For the highest good of all, for the most love and healing to show up in that timeline. Mercy. And these? Anything else for Michaela? Amanda! How are you doing? I didn't get to go on my go away I thought I was going away on. So I came over to my friend's house and did a reading where I could turn the lights on. Right now? Oh, what just happened? How did that happen? Did you guys hear that? Suddenly cards are inside out. Like... <coughs> I didn't even see him flip. Oh, what'd you make? What were you baking? Did you make cookies? Did you see that? It was just like all of a sudden. And this is crazy. Okay. That's a lot. I just got bit by a mosquito. There we go. I think I got it. <laughs> Oh, mercy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anything else for Michaela today? Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's see how many this is. What's the occasion? Look how many cards you got, Michaela. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Baker's dozen. First one out is the teacher in the reverse. And then the nine of fire in the upright. And then the guardian of earth. And then the Magician in the Reverse. And then the Three of Water in the Reverse. And then... Oh, are you bragging, Leah? You know, braggers are not as attractive as those who share cookies with people like me. <laughs> Let's see, we got the... <laughs> this is the Empress in Reverse. You got the Moon in the Reverse. The Four of Fire, the Eight of Earth, which I think this came up in the collective as well. Six of Earth, the Explorer of Earth, the Lovers in Reverse, and the Explorer of Water in the Reverse. Wow. Wow. All right, let me get a drink of water on that note. Mm. They're upside down. No, it just has a different meaning. Like this book has a meaning if it's upright and a meaning if it's upside down. And so when I first started reading, I did not. I read. Oh, who did that? Someone used my book to write on and their name is. Carl. Who in the, how in the world did that name get scratched into my book? Okay, so the teacher is in the shadow side when it's upside down. Number five. Oh boy, the heat did kick on. <gasps> the Hierophant. Someone's belief system is inflexible with no room for questioning or movement. I put it in the upright so you can look at it, though. Take a look at how oppressive religious structures, rigid church doctrine, or questionable guru figures, including those in the personal growth movement, may be affecting a situation. 
There could be a problem when someone is disconnected from the natural world and ignoring the blessings to be found there. Perhaps a call to share wisdom with the world is being ignored. The soul lesson themes, teaching or guiding others, being taught or led, guidance, belief systems, counseling, mentor, spiritual link, priest, intercessor, search for truth, education, spiritual teachings outside of mainstream religious institutions, tradition, a course of study, revealing the sacred to the light of day. Outer exoteric teachings in contrast to the priestesses, excuse me, inner ex, ex, esoteric teachings. <laughs> the journal questions to write down and ponder. What do I have to teach? What do I have to learn? How connected am I to the place where I live? What wisdom can the green allies offer me? When have I experienced coyote teaching? What is the place of tradition in my life? Who is my current teacher? What is my purpose? The affirmation I receive my best spiritual teachings from nature. And then we got the nine of fire. I'm being told to read the description on this one. As well as the meaning. So the description says, A man has retreated to a red rock cave, a sacred spot where energies gather in order to replenish his own life force. He seats himself in meditation, and soon the kundalini serpent begins to rise. He is radiant with inner fire, connected to heaven and earth. He experiences himself as a being of light, as well as a being of flesh, blood, and bone. When you get this card in a reading, in the upright. Was this one in the upright or was this in the shadow? Okay. I think I cannot remember. You have reached a time in your life when you are self-confident self-possessed and at peace with yourself you are radiant with personal power and yet are humble and approachable you use your personal power sorry guys there was something on my back what you know we have big centipedes here in hawaii i thought it was upright that's why i'm reading the upright meaning you use your personal power responsibly and competently. Because of your spiritual practice, you are able to handle anything that comes your way with calm equanimity. The affirmation, I love this affirmation. I am a being of light and fire as well as flesh and bone. And next, next we have the guardian of earth. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your protection, even from mosquitoes. This one is in the upright, and it says, The guardian of earth creates financial security and good health for himself and his family. And that, folks, was an avocado falling out of the tree. Yes, I'm on Kauai Island. This is where I was sent. So, the guardian of earth. Okay. The guardian of earth creates financial security and good health for himself and his family. He is a good steward of Gaia's resources. He builds wealth not only for personal satisfaction and comfort, but also for the good work it can do in the world. This is a powerful person who can be depended on to provide a meal, a job, caretaking, or financial support. The tangible is much more appealing to him than the abstract. There is great benefit in being intimately aligned with the earth. The affirmation, I value good health and financial security and enjoy providing for myself and my family. And then the magician is in the reverse. So let's see what the number one card says on the shadow side. 
I'll hold it upright though so you can look at the pictures. I like it. You're in Los Angeles? Who, oh, you know, I came here as half of a couple and the plan did not come to fruition. And like within 10 days or so, two weeks of getting out of quarantine when we arrived, I was here by myself then. So it's been a struggle. And a blessing. So, on the shadow side, your creative energies are blocked. Is this due to low self-esteem or an inability to focus? In what ways might you be refusing to step into your power or to take responsibility for your life? Sometimes an overconfident attitude may be hiding a secret lack of confidence. Beware of the temptation to behave unethically to get your way or to impose your will upon others. You may be stuck in self-limiting beliefs. Will you choose to remain stuck or will you do whatever it takes to free yourself and let the energy flow once again? I am divorced, but the person I moved here with was not. I did not marry them. Thank God. Yes, God sent me here. I know that for sure. I had clear signs. I asked for them and I received them. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, the soul lesson themes. I got a tickle in my throat. Empowerment might be important to you because that's the first theme. Will, focused intent, magic, creative energy, skill, ideas become reality, manifestation, Action, ecstasy, yang in contrast to the priestess's yen. Journal questions. All divorced. Yeah. Okay. I gotta hold this where it doesn't block the light from the book. How do I express my own sense of personal power? Where in my life do I need to focus my will and take action? Do I manifest my desires in a responsible way? Do I impose my will upon others? How does magic flow through me? How do I express my creativity? When do I feel like I am channeling spiritual energy into a physical form? Ooh. What is my greatest skill? What skills do I need to improve? What new creative medium might I try? When do I feel like I am aligned with the heartbeat of the earth? affirmation I have the power to manifest my desires and next you got the three of water on the shadow side which I will hold that in the upright though so you can see it you may find it difficult to feel joyful about anything it is possible, however, to choose joy even in difficult circumstances. Shift your energy with music, art, or being around people that lighten your spirit. Remember to ask for help if you need it. Learn to trust that loving support is available to you even if you are hesitant to seek it. The joy that you can tap into from within is the joy that will sustain you even in the roughest times. Your challenge is to allow the joy to flow freely no matter what is happening around you. The affirmation, I find joy in the company of others. Are these resonating for you, Michaela? <laughs> Let's see. Next is the gardener on the shadow side also, which is number three card. You got so many major arcana. This is the Empress, Sensuality, Creativity, Abundance. On the shadow side, you may be experiencing infertility or a lack of abundance in your life. 
It may feel like the dead of winter when nothing grows, but remember that seeds are still alive, hibernating underground. It is also possible that rampant growth is threatening to overwhelm you and needs to be pruned and cut back. You may be experiencing poor health and could be disconnected from the natural world. Do you have nature deficit disorder? It's time to get out into the garden and play in the mud. The soul lesson themes, creativity, fertility, motherhood, healing the mother-lover split, productivity, growth, nurturing, sensuality, passion, embracing the natural world, vibrant health, appreciating beauty, abundance, comfort. And then the journal questions. For this one, what am I gestating? What waits to be born? How do I celebrate my beauty and sensuality? Where in my life am I experiencing abundance and prosperity? What have I planted? What am I harvesting? What am I passionate about? Is there a split between my sexual self and my nurturing mothering self? If so, how can I heal it? How do I care for my garden, literally or metaphorically? What kind of relationship do I have with the earth? Am I eating healthy foods? How often do I eat seasonal local foods? How do I connect to the place where I live? The affirmation, I give thanks for the abundance and prosperity in my life. And next is Major Arcana number 18, the moon on the shadow side. This is the terrain of nightmares, phobias, anxieties, and delusions. Someone is resisting the idea of opening up to the psychic non-rational realms. A difficult emotional journey may be at hand. This may feel like a journey into darkness and may trigger a confrontation with your deepest fears. Remember that sometimes what we fear in the darkness may be revealed as harmless in the light of day. Ask for a reality check from trusted loved ones. Embrace your own shadow, for it is only when we love the most unlovable parts of ourselves that we can truly heal. The themes for the soul lessons, constant faithful changes, cycle of descent and return, intuition, dreams, psychic awakening, imagination, light and shadow. And the journal questions, how can I become more moon wise? Do I consider myself to be psychic or intuitive? Am I scared of the idea of receiving information from a sixth sense? Do I pay attention to my dreams? Do you keep a dream journal, Michaela? Everyone should keep a dream journal and a journal journal and a gratitude journal. Four of Fire in the Upright is next. You are celebrating your personal power. When your body is humming with energy inside ritual space, you know you can do anything. Set your intent and follow through. Step into the sacred circle to celebrate a rite of passage. Do a blessing or create an act of magic. You have the power. The affirmation, I am strong and courageous and have the power to accomplish anything I choose to do. <coughs> There's the tickle. Next is the eight of earth, which was also part of the collective reading. A long apprenticeship is sometimes required when we work to manifest our vision in the world. Nope, oh, sorry. We must learn our craft and practice it diligently, reaching a high level of skill before we can walk the path of right livelihood. What is the work of your heart? Have you found a mentor who will teach you wisely? Will you pass on your knowledge to another? Affirmation. I cultivate patience as I learn so that I may share my gifts with others. And I have to get a drink. My throat is tickling so hard. <clears throat> weird I smell like shellac or something <clears throat> six of earth in the shadow is next which says you may be in debt or experiencing a lack of abundance in your life you may not know how to get the word out about the brilliant work that you do you may be working too hard for very little return 
It's time to make some adjustments in your relationship with money. You deserve to be well paid for the work of your heart and hands. More importantly, your community needs the gift that only you can bring. The affirmation, I appreciate and support the work of others just as they support and appreciate me. That's been coming out a lot for the collective. And next is the Explorer of Earth. <clears throat> What is going on? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your guidance and protection as always. Thank you for allowing my voice to bring healing. And thank you for keeping my throat a nice clear channel for the messages. The explorer of earth experiences her spirituality in her body and in her relationship with the earth. Although she is very realistic and practical, she is also very intuitive. This is a time to connect to the great mystery god or goddess however you refer to your source by spending time in nature <sighs> the explorer's spirituality is pragmatic focused on the how of spiritual teachings rather than the why she has made an art of green sustainable living and has much to teach about the spiritual rewards of choosing simplicity follow her example and be cautious at this time with your money spending it wisely and tracking it did I read this one already tracking its inflow and outgo repair and recycle what you can rather than making new purchases this is a time for finding pleasure in the rewards of hard work especially if you are doing what comes easily and naturally to you she also reminds us that staying fit and eating a wholesome diet are the best kind of health care that's the second time healthy food has come out for you <laughs> Michaela, yes, I just, there was a strong tickle in my throat. And the affirmation says, I live within the bounty of nature. And then you got another major arcana, number six, the lovers and the shadow side. So, I'll hold it upright so you can look at the picture. But this one says, let's see, come on now, get the page right, Tanya. You may have experienced pain and disappointment in your relationship with a beloved, which makes it challenging to give or receive love. You may be holding back or isolating yourself from others. The practice of gratitude makes our hearts expand. Oh, <laughs> when we focus on all the things about our beloved for which we are grateful, instead of focusing on the qualities our beloved lacks, our love grows. When our hearts are filled with gratitude, the ability to give wholehearted love doesn't seem so difficult. The soul lesson themes, passion, heart's desire, follow your bliss, choice, sexuality, love, union of opposites, balance, reciprocity, cooperation, partnership, sacred marriage, self-love, relationships of all kinds, interdependence, and honor the beloved. And last, the explorer of water. Was he upright? Mm, I got a headache. Um, so, this is joy that comes from within and is not dependent on outer circumstances. The explorer of water is romantic and charming and others are drawn to the deep well of peace inside him. I think I read this one. For the collective and the upright. He loves yoga, meditation, and any of the mystical arts. He expresses his deep feelings and spirituality through art, music, or dance. He flows with great compassion for others and imagines things as they could be. Quote, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. End quote. The affirmation, I am writing the deep waves of joy and peace in my life. Yeah, I remembered that one. Oh, thank you, Michaela, for being here. That was a good reading. Big energies again. Big energies. Okay, let's see. And I know Leah said something about she ate cookies that were not shared with me. So I think she's here. <laughs>
any day. <laughs> You're very welcome, Michaela. You have a fantastic rest of your day. Let's see. Amanda, do you know what deck you would like your reading from? This is the guy in tarot that I just read from. I have the Oracle deck. I have the Science of Mind Wisdom deck. I have a Goddess deck. And I also have a Bible deck for those of you who are unfamiliar with your choices in decks here. Or you can just tell me to pick something. And Spirit usually tells me what to do in that case. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for all of these wonderful messages. Bringing about the most love and healing for everyone involved in all of the timelines. So Deke never came back and Marshall never came back. You have sweet dreams, Tanika. Thank you so much for being here. Please come again. Oh, good. Let's see. Amanda. There went another avocado, you guys. Thank goodness I'm not out there. I'm under a roof on the back porch. Aw, oh, thank you for following my page. You guys, I'll be putting these up on the YouTube channel with timestamps, which will make it much easier for you to find your reading and do your journal questions, which I know you're really looking forward to writing down and pondering because it's good for you. Right. <laughs> All right, Amanda. I'm not seeing a response. I don't see. Uh, um, let's see. I'm just going to do the oracles. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing some cards out for Amanda at this time. For the highest good of all involved in Amanda's timeline. For the most love and healing to show up. You know the deal. Thank you, thank you. I still want to know how a name got written into my freaking book cover. It's like someone wrote C-A-R-L. And the C, they wrote it like 17 times. How did that even happen? Maybe. Are you already home now, Leah? You ate all the cookies and then went home? <laughs> Goodness is what fell out for Amanda. Goodness. And that is all that's coming out. Alright. Goodness it is. Eh. It says before Egypt, Primordial Rhapsody is the name of the illustration. Oh, there you are. I can only get one card to fly out for you. And it says, this image celebrates the power of light to dispel the darkness. It calls us to be loving conduits for the divine energy to work through us. Make a commitment to act with more integrity today. See yourself as a light bearer of love. And everywhere you go, you dispel the darkness. Well, you already do that. Walk in the confidence of the divine you are. Special message, you are being inspired to look at a situation or relationship that is not operating from the place of the highest integrity. Addressing this will start the healing process and turn it around for the better. 
Does that resonate at all? Because it's the only card you got. That's the only one that would come out. Isn't that crazy? After some people had like 27, 28 minute readings, you get one card, Amanda. And you're one of my special people, too. <laughs> and now it's Leah's turn. Leah's laughing. <laughs> Let's see the timestamp. 148.30. Nice. Leanne, do you know what deck you want for your reading? Also, Fatima, Melissa, comment what deck. So when I get to you, we've already done that. Yeah, you have. And I still have to do the big old one. Like, what is that? Uh, life, love, health, and wealth. Because you won the thing for sharing the most last month. And here it is. The 19th. And I haven't done that reading yet for you. Shame on me. Oh, 30 lashes. Thanks you guys for being here. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do the, the the tarot this time since I just did that one. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing forth a message for Leah at this time. For the highest good of everyone in that timeline, for the most love and healing to show up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, you suddenly got two. That's crazy. One went that way and one went that way. I was afraid it was going to go down in the deck. Like, you know how there's gaps in the boards of the deck? And if one of my cards goes down there, I'm going to have to ruin this deck. <laughs> two more just flung themselves over there. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing a message for Leah's highest possible good. For the most love and healing to show up. What can you advise? All right. One, two, three, four. It looked like more than that when they were flying all over the place. You got the five of earth. And then you got the ten of water. Yeah, the Ten of Water. And then the Three of Fire came out on the shadow side. And then number four, Major Arcana, the Builder, came out in the upright. Let's see what this all means. Okay. It says you are dealing with stress on a survival level, mostly likely with your health or finances. You may have lost your home or your job or are dealing with a life-threatening illness. Things may seem bleak indeed. What kind of shelter in the storm can you create that will help you through these rough times? What survival skills have you developed that you can use in times of crisis? I'm sorry. The affirmation. I have the skills it takes to survive any crisis. Repeat after me, Leah. I have the skills it takes to survive any crisis. And next is the Ten of Water. So. You know that you are a part of the great cycle of descent and return. You may identify with the courage of the salmon whose struggle benefits the whole ecosystem as well as the next generation of salmon. How are you willing to struggle to improve the future for your family or community? Where in the cycle of loss, change, and increase do you find yourself at this time? Are you finding your way to your true home or your journey's completion? The affirmation, I have given my best. 
and can rest assured that love will continue to flow. Three of fire in the shadow was next. It says, you are feeling self-conscious about expressing yourself. You may be just a little bit too modest for your own good. If you must dance alone, go ahead, but still dance. This is not the time for inhibitions or restraint. Your challenge is to let go of self-doubt and let your brilliance shine in the world. Affirmation, I express my joy and passion openly. And last but not least, you got number four, Major Arcana, the Emperor in traditional tarot. This is the builder, structure, boundaries, and foundation. And let's see, is it glaring? Okay, good. It's time to embrace your own authority. The builder tells you that for now it is wiser to make decisions through logic and pragmatic reasoning rather than your emotions or intuition. Ask yourself, what am I building? Are the foundations of my life based on strong structures? Are my boundaries clear and well tended? You are ready to take responsibility for a project where you have authority over others. What kind of a leader are you and how might you polish your skills? Do you lead by example or by dominating? Are you secure enough to share power with others? Do you take into account the long-term consequences of the decisions that you make? The builder exemplifies the good father who loves, guides, and protects his children. Having clear boundaries and a disciplined approach brings security. The soul lesson themes, leadership, stability, defining limits, authority, masculinity, giving direction, protector and provider, fatherhood, logic, intellect, rationality, structure, rules, discipline, acting responsibly, organization, administration, goal-oriented, creating order, Journal questions. What am I building? What needs structure in my life? Are my boundaries strong and in place? What kind of a heal? Why did I say that? What kind of a healer? What kind of a healer are you? What kind of a leader are you? What kind of a leader am I? What is my style of leadership? How do I feel about sharing power with others? How am I acting responsibly? How do I create sustainability? What did my own father teach me? How am I like or unlike him? The affirmation, I wield my power with wisdom based on discipline, knowledge, and respect for all that is. Mercy. How is that, Leah? Mercy. Let's see. Oh. You're very welcome, Leah. I hope it resonates somehow and it helps in some way. Thank you for being here and let me read for you again. Oh, Melissa. Do you know what deck you would like? I'm, I'm not going to wait around for very long on the ones who leave. The energies are really huge today, you guys. Mm. Okay. I'm going to put Fatima at the bottom and do Melissa now. Since Fatima is not commenting... Do the oracles for Melissa. Oh. Okay.
Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing through a message for Melissa at this time, as she has been patiently waiting. Thank you, as always, for your guidance and protection. Thank you for allowing my voice to bring healing to those who need it. Mm. thought something was going to go flying on that one. You're very welcome, Melissa. Thank you for being here. Thank you for staying, sticking around for your turn. I always read for everyone who shows up, but if you leave, you may very well get put at the end of the queue after everyone else is done. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing forth a message for Melissa. For the highest good of everyone in that timeline, you know all the names. Thank you for bringing a message that will bring forth the most healing and love for the situations at hand. Mercy. The cards feel, the cards feel heavy. Hopefully everything is going well on your side of the planet, Melissa. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing Melissa's message for the highest good of all. Alright, I think that's that. Let's see what we got. Ooh. You got four cards the first one out I love this card because it has like the dolphins and the dragons the dragons can you see it so let's pull up the book what oneness has to say. Elemento. Here we go. Ooh, okay, let's see if I can get this without a glare while I read for you. This image celebrates the good or God part in all persons places, and things, no matter what our preconceived notions and prejudges are. It calls us to look beyond the surface impressions and externals and actively seek the common ground of the oneness of all. Make a list of the traits and things about yourself that you are most critical of and become the complete opposite, most positive version of that trait. Make a conscious choice from this time forward to embrace the highest aspects within yourself and let them shine forth. The special message. Check yourself for hidden prejudges and ill thoughts about certain people in your life. You are being inspired to release these dense thoughts and replace them with thoughts of positive aspects and a higher frequency brought about by love. Next card is Harmony. Atlantis 2 is the name of the illustration. And you've got dolphins again. This image celebrates all the other environments and societies that we share our planet with. It calls us to open our hearts to tolerance and understanding and put forth an effort to live in harmony with all life forms on this planet. Try to look at the other species on this planet as being co-inhabitants and sharing the earth with us. Get a bird feeder and feed the birds. Give a donation to an animal or environmental group. Make it a point to learn something new about the life under the sea, in the sky, or on the land. Now joyfully share it with someone. The special message. You're being inspired to be a little more tolerant towards some creatures you do not like or are afraid of. Learning about them and trying to understand them may open up a whole new appreciation of them. Ooh. And next you got sharing, Light Priestess. Are you on the Priestess path, Melissa? Sharing. This image celebrates the magic of myth and legend. 
We are called to dream how ancient thought forms rode the threads of time and are now woven into the beautiful tapestry of our human ancestry. Extend the magic of joy to a stranger. Go out of your way today to do something nice for someone, no matter how small it is, without expecting anything in return. Send them a blast of love from your heart and send it out through your smile and your eyes. Special message. You are being inspired to break out of the cocoon of control that certain others have had over you. Send them love, joy, and blessings. Have an inner dialogue with them, affirming that you choose to be free from their control, no matter how well intended it was meant to be. This is the second time someone's gotten this message tonight. Offer gratitude for this lesson and be aware you would never exercise this type of control over someone else either. And your last one is leadership. And the name of the illustration is The Gift. And this one is another angel. This image celebrates the sacredness of the stewardship of the planet. It calls us to inspire our youth to care for the earth so as to preserve it for future generations to come. Be mindful all day how much water you use and trash you make. Make a commitment to always be aware of this and make an effort to reduce your waste. Connect with a young person and inspire them regarding their stewardship of the earth. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat would tickle on this. Share with them about being aware of what impact they have on the planet and that their actions are very important too. Special message, you are being inspired to take a stand for something you believe in. It can be challenging when everyone seems to think otherwise. <laughs> you are strong. Stand in your truth. The universe stands behind you. That, I love the sea too. The ocean is where I should have been born. I don't know why they had me born in Ohio. I belong by the ocean. This island is okay, but I would really, any island anywhere, any warm sea i'm not into the cold ocean places i don't feel like that's uh, truly enjoyable water when it's cold because it hurts in the bones well thank you thank you for letting me read for you melissa i really appreciate you showing up tonight okay so no one else is here waiting for a reading the people that commented Disappeared. Marshall left. Fatima left. And Deke was on the other recording, but I didn't see the comments and didn't come to this one. So, what I'm going to do, since I'm exhausted, and it's 10 o'clock, and I'm at someone else's house. And I think they already went to bed. So, I need to vamanos, amigos, and amigas. I'm sending all of you love and healing. Lots and lots and lots of love. <sighs> Thank you everyone for being here. I will see you next time. Get out there and love somebody. <laughs>